This is Paso. Um, From your buddy uh, who you're now talking to after 10 or 12 years or something like that. Walter, yeah. Walter. It's so funny. And now it's like we did, like, literally it was 10 years this, uh, the winery uh, representative, the son-in-law wouldn't talk to me. It goes back. Uh, It's just his hot Italian temper, but... Uh, he sent these samples the other day, and, and Ed and I both tasted them. We actually uh, loved the blends that we created. So this is the Big Red Wine Beast, which is all out of Paso. It's got Merlot, Tanat, Petit Syrah, some other things in it. Maybe some Franc. I was really surprised, and I think I said this last month because we wow. featured one with the Tanat, which is a terrible grape in France. It's, it's like it's like Malbec in, in, in France. I mean, most of the Malbecs in France are absolutely undrinkable. I mean, they're hideous. Some this of them are so okay, good. but you go, it, you go to Argentina and they're out of this world. Well, tonight, for some reason, I, it, you know, they, they grow it in the uh, in the lesser areas, in the Provence and uh, in places like that, and, uh, and, and the Midi, which is, you know, their, their bread basket. And it makes just tannic wine. It has no taste. But this stuff was really good. I mean, it, 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 made, the, it made the blend, you know. I love this this blend. This I, blend's really, really good. And it is sort of a big red wine beast. And it's an 11, which you wouldn't have guessed, I don't think, uh, based on its no. structure, that no, it's 11 it's, and yeah, the color. You know, that's not that old wine. But, still, but it's, got a, it's got a really <laughs> unique nose. I mean, you smell it, and you go, well, what, what's in that? What is it? Mm-hmm. I mean, when you when you tell me what it is, like it's got a lot of Merlot in it, I can say, oh, okay, I can get that. Yeah, but, but you know, who's going to guess? It's tonight? got way more aggressive than just Merlot, right? Maybe that's the mm-hmm. top. Maybe it's the Malbec. And there's probably a little Cabernet Franc in this. Um, well, I, and I think it's the Tanat too, because the Tanat gave the it backbone. some backbone. But it also had good fruit. Remember? It does. It we taste. No, I'm talking about just the, just the Tanat, just one of the legs. Yeah, that, right. We were shocked. Which I go, oh, I don't even want to taste it. You taste it. I don't want to taste it. You know, and, and it was delicious. <laughs> it was really good. So anyhow, uh, twenty two ninety nine on the shelf, twelve ninety eight on the reorder price. That's another ninety five. I mean, you know, what's easily, to argue about? Easily. The, the nice eight. thing about this wine is it's not Cabernet. Right, that's what you we're know, doing. It's just not it's Cabernet. Non Cabernet. It's not Merlot. Series. It's not Pinot Noir. It's kind of on its own little plane, and and it's something different. You know, I mean, you could have this with chicken. You could have it with beef. You could have it with pork. It tastes like chicken. 